Stacy. And I'm Kevin. And today we are going to be free in the great state of Utah. The next thing on our list is the Ogden Canyon Scenic Highway. So we are going to go for a ride. We're going to take the Scenic Highway up to Ogden Canyon, but there's a place we're going to stop at first called Far Better Ice Cream, which is supposed to be really really good. Kevin, be oh, you drive like a maniac. He does not drive like a maniac. It better be far better than any other ice cream I've ever tasted. So here's the only thing. We've cut out sugar completely out of our diet. Except Anything for with added sugar. So added sugar or like those kinds of things. Things that aren't natural. So we haven't had, we haven't been eating sugar. But we're going to do two things on this trip that involve sugar. One is far better ice cream and the second will be tomorrow, mountain donuts. So, so you got, just got to take one for the team every now and then. Okay. He's more willing to take one for the team than not. We're here in the galaxy, far, far away for far better ice cream. Fabulous ice cream. There's a lot of it in here and I've got to kind of keep up with it so it doesn't get all over everything. Very good. It is far better ice cream than I anticipated. We may have it all Up the ladder down the wall Different mysteries So we're at, we're at Ogden Canyon and it is beautiful up here. It looks like a reservoir. And uh, I don't know if you can see behind us this way here. It's more kind of green, that location. And then more kind of uh, uh, southwestern vegetation on this side. When I'm covered in So the first ski resort that we're visiting is Powder Mountain. Apparently, Powder Mountain is one is the largest ski resort in North America. It has over 154 separate trails, nine different or two different two terrain parks and nine lifts. Somehow though, we've ended up at the top of a gravel parking lot, which I and we've only seen one lift. So I don't think we're really in the right spot. There's a yurt over there. Isn't that what that's called? Let's see if this is... But I'll show you what it looks like up here. It's pretty. Either way. brought us to. I don't think we're at the ski resort right now because I don't even see ski lifts nor do I see like a village or anything so we're gonna keep looking. Powder Mountain Ski Resort to me is a little bit confusing because for it being North America's largest ski resort it seems like you can't find anything but we're still looking. But we've, we've seen three lifts so far but they claim to have nine and the lifts we've seen are kind of kind of older ones but we're gonna keep rolling here. Yeah we're at the summit village area right now which it looks like is is kind of the most remote and maybe what it means by it's the largest is that it is a huge area of land and I would 100% agree with that. There's a ton of new building going on up here, houses, things like that, and it's absolutely it's beautiful. beautiful. So we're taking the opportunity to get a little hike in as well. I use the term hike loosely. We're gonna take a little walk up here. 
but any time you're in the mountains, I consider it a hike. So that's one cool thing about Utah, Colorado, all of those places, is you can pretty much go about anywhere and find trails and places to go. I mean, look at the view. Powder Mountain. It's very interesting though because it's not what we're used to in Colorado. At least it doesn't seem to be with having like a main village with shops and all that, but maybe we're missing something. So if you are watching this and you know how we uh, missed it in the summertime, something that we just didn't quite see or get to you, comment below and let us know. But nonetheless, it's tons of property and area for sure. A huge area with lots of area to ski and it is absolutely beautiful. So now we're gonna head over and check out the next ski resort. We're here at Nordic Valley Ski Resort and this is like a, this does not have any lodging. It is really just the ski resort, five lifts. You can see it's, it's it's definitely beautiful here, but it's so different than what we're used to in Colorado with with a actual um, with the village and having all the shops and all of that kind of stuff and lodging. This is just skiing. That's that's the this shops. is skiing. Show them the shops. Got the toilet trailer here, just in case you uh, have to do some business while you're while you're skiing. Guess my guess is too that because you don't have all the lodging and all of that, there would be less people. Which I'm all about having more space to myself. And there are over 500 acres here, skiable acres, which is nice too. All right, now we're leaving the Nordic Valley Ski Resort. We're gonna head back onto the Ogden Canyon Highway and head to the Shooting Star Saloon. The Shooting Star Saloon is actually one of the oldest, or they claim, it claims to be one of the oldest saloons in Utah. And it was, it started in the 1800s and they only do drinks of course and you do have to be 21 years or older to go there but they only do one thing that they do well and that is hamburgers and the knockwurst mm -hmm. and chips and the burger their star burger comes with two hamburger patties knockwurst in between the patties and it's smothered in ketchup and mustard tomato lettuce and caramelized onions and melted cheese and melted cheese and it was fantastic they 100 percent know how to do that so we are now headed to the third ski resort that we wanted to check out today and that is Snow Basin Resort. Right, so I had the opportunity to talk to somebody actually at Snow Basin and they were telling me that the resorts around here really focus, focus more on the actual skiing and less on the lodging. And he said that this is considered to have the best snow in North America. And because of the desert, the winds that come out of the desert apparently suck all the moisture out of the snow and it's super, super powdery. Last year they had record 900 inches of snow. That's like 75 feet of snow. That is a ridiculous amount. So uh, I think that we're going to have to schedule this in somehow and come out to Utah to check this out. We came back up to Snow Basin today and we are now riding the gondola up to the top and we'll check out the top and possibly do some hiking up there, I don't know. The gondola ride was 29 bucks a person. It includes a concert at two o'clock today. Yeah, I thought it was a little bit steep for the gondola ride, but... Uh, I thought it was fine, but he's a bit on the cheap side, so there's that. But I want to see what the mountain is like, and the best way to see what the mountain is like is by going up on the gondola, and here you're actually able to do that. Yeah, on top of the world. 
build here? So basically we've made it up here to the top of Snow Basin, but I bet these runs are spectacular and it's really beautiful up here. So let's get over here where you can kind of see. Uh, Look at this. I mean, you can see oh, for right. miles. It's just gorgeous. And if you look to the left, there's a lodge up here which has views for days. And apparently yesterday when we were here, people get married up here. They actually ride the lift up here and they get married up here that basically just the view is 360. Looks and, out over everything. Well, 360 wouldn't make sense, but 180. And so it's Maybe just- Maybe even 270. It's beautiful. So I can see where skiing would be pretty spectacular up here. Looks like a lot of blues. If you come up to this middle bowl, looks like there's some greens up here, but uh, for the most part, it's blues and blacks. But you never know what you're gonna get when you go to a ski resort. Some people's blues are another person's black, and you know, so it just, it just depends on where you're at. You really have to kind of experience it. And there are some greens up here too. Yeah. And what I really love is that you can actually see the the reservoir, the water down below, which I bet just looks spectacular. It looks spectacular now, but in the winter time, I bet it just is really magical. The Ogden Canyon Scenic Drive is a must do when visiting Ogden, Utah. From beautiful mountains to rolling farms, the views are nothing short of amazing. And make sure you take the opportunity to stop off at some of the most popular ski resorts in Utah while on the drive. Keep watching for our next Utah video, which will include one of the area's most popular hikes, and you will see why, and a must-do dinner spot. Oh, and if you want to check out some of the links to some of the spots we visited while in Utah, go to our website at www.befreebenson.com. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.